In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 24, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Memphis vs. Seddon Hall The Memphis Tigers play the Seddon Hall Pirates on Thursday in the opening round of the ESPN Events Invitational in Kissimmee, Florida at the State Farm Fieldhouse. Memphis defeated VCU 62-47 on Sunday behind 26 points from Kendrick Davis. Seddon Hall defeated Wagner 82-44 on Sunday, bouncing back from its only loss when falling to Iowa 83-67. Memphis will play without Jammer Young Jr., while Ian Granya and Demaria Franklin are questionable. Dree Davis is questionable for Seddon Hall. Memphis is 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall and 11-3 against the spread in their last 14 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600 while the under is 5-2 in their last seven neutral side games. Seddon Hall is 0-6 against the spread in their last six neutral side games and 1-4 against the spread in their last five games following an against the spread win while the under is 5-1 in their last six games against a team with a winning percentage above .600. Shaheen Hall is doing great work in his first season coaching Seton Hall and digging deep on his bench to get minutes out of many. In doing so, he is getting contributions out of all. The Pirates run 10 deep and will be switching out bodies and looks frequently. Memphis is a skilled, athletic team with a penchant for defense, but so is Seton Hall. I like the Pirates outlasting the Tigers in this one with their very deep bench. So the Seton Hall Pirates to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Memphis Tigers and the Seton Hall Pirates will face off in Kissimmee on Thursday evening for the ESPN Events Invitational. This game will be the final game of the day at State Farm Fieldhouse in Disney World's Wide World of Sports, which will feature four good games starting first thing in the morning. Seton Hall will look to win their fourth win of the season with wins already over Wagner, St. Peter's, and Monmouth. The theme in all three of those wins this season was defense. The Pirates have been defensive-minded under new head coach Shaheen Holloway, giving up just 56 points per game. Memphis has also been very good on defense to start their 2022-2023 campaign, which makes the under my favorite pick of this game. The Tigers are giving up 68 points per game this season, but that average is brought up with their loss to St. Louis on the road. In their games against Vanderbilt and VCU, the Tigers held them to 67 points and 47 points. According to Ken Palm, Memphis is ranked 21st in adjusted defensive efficiency. I like the under here because I think both defensives will come ready to play. Seton Hall is ranked third in effective field goal percentage, sixth in three-point percentage, and ninth in two-point percentage, which proves their defensive success. They have been outstanding on defense and will make it tough for Memphis to score consistently. Surprisingly, Memphis is the more efficient defense in this matchup, according to Ken Palm and the Pirates. Well, we already knew the defensive prowess they were going to have coming into this game as they've been really good on that end of the floor under Shaheen Holloway. I believe that this is going to be a very physical game. The total is set too high here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Connecticut vs. Oregon The Connecticut Huskies and the Oregon Ducks meet Thursday in college basketball action from Moda Center. Connecticut is 5-0 this year and fresh off a win over Delaware State. As for Oregon, they're sitting at 2-2 overall. The Ducks lost to Houston in their last game. Connecticut is 4-0 against the spread in their last four games. Oregon is 1-6 against the spread in their last seven neutral site games. The under is 5-0 in the Ducks' last five games. The over is 5-1-1 in the Ducks' last seven games following and against the spread loss. The under is 4-1 in Huskies' last five games after scoring more than 90 points in their previous game. The Huskies have used the transfer portal to replace key players who are gone from last year, and Connecticut has been very strong this season so far. Even though Connecticut has played weaker competition, the team is still 5-0, and the Huskies have blown out nearly every team they've played. Oregon lost both of their step-up games by double digits at home, and the Ducks' offense has been very inconsistent so far this season. 
Houston. While Oregon's loss to top-ranked Houston was understandable, the team also lost by double digits at home to UC Irvine. The Ducks shot 32.7% from the field in that loss. Connecticut hasn't really been tested, but they are going to pass this one with flying colors. Connecticut is averaging 87 points per game, and they are going to have no issue running up the score again in this game. Oregon doesn't have the offense to keep up, so the Connecticut Huskies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Huskies are averaging 87 points per game. They average 70 points per game in two games against the Ducks. They play at a fast pace, averaging 73.6 possessions per game. Even though the Ducks are giving up 58 points per game, the Huskies will score at least 70 points in this game. The Ducks are averaging 68 points per game. They average 71 points per game in two games against the Huskies. They play at a slower pace, averaging 68.2 possessions per game. Oregon has been very inconsistent offensively so far this season. In the Ducks' two step-up games against tougher competition, Oregon failed to score more than 56 points even though both matchups were at home for them. The Ducks shot 32.7% against UC Irvine and just 38.8% against Houston. Oregon also shot badly from the three-point line in both matchups. Connecticut has been solid on both sides of the floor so far this year. The Huskies' defense should be able to limit the Ducks' offense. With the Huskies giving up 57 points per game, the Ducks won't score enough points to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Alabama vs. Michigan State The Alabama Crimson Tide will play the Michigan State Spartans in the Phil Knight Invitational at the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon on Thursday night. Alabama is 1-7 against the spread in their last eight games following an against-the-spread win and 1-5 against the spread in their last six Thursday games while the over is 5-1 in their last six neutral side games. Michigan State is 7-1 against the spread in their last eight neutral side games and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall while the over is 9-3 in their last 12 games overall. Tom Izzo again has made sure the Spartans play a tough schedule to start the season, and Michigan State comes into this game battle-tested after having already played both Kentucky and Gonzaga. Michigan State's only loss is to the second-ranked Bulldogs, and the team came up short by just a point in that matchup. Alabama is 4-0, but they've played no one yet this year, and this will be a huge step-up game for the Crimson Tide. Alabama also shot just 32.4% from the field against South Alabama, and the Crimson Tide will face a tough Michigan State defense on Thursday night. Michigan State has looked great this season, with their only loss coming against Gonzaga by one point. The Spartans have defeated Villanova and Kentucky already this season. Alabama hasn't played anyone very good yet, and this game will be a test for them. The Crimson Tide are the best best rebounding team in the country, but their stats are higher than they would be if they were playing better competition. The Spartans should be better prepared for this game, so the Michigan State Spartans to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Crimson Tide are averaging 85 points per game. They play at a fast pace, averaging 75.2 possessions per game. They are facing a defense that is giving up 67 points per game and will be held under their average in this game. The Spartans are averaging 74 points per game. They play at a slower pace, averaging 74 possessions per game. Alabama is 4-0, but the Crimson Tide have played a very easy schedule, and even against weaker competition their offense has struggled at times. Alabama shot just 30 32.4% from the field against South Alabama and 39.1% from the field against the Longwood Lancers. Michigan State's defense is far stronger than what the Crimson Tide saw in either of those games, and the Spartans are also battle-tested after having already played Kentucky and Gonzaga. Michigan State should be able to limit the Crimson's Tide offense in this game. With the Crimson Tide giving up 57.5 points per game, the Spartans won't score enough points to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.